Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 battle series. I hope you're all having a great day. We kicked off yesterday again with this Kieran White team and we're continuing on with it today. We made some big changes from last week. And if you missed any of the episodes from yesterday or last week, go up here, click a card in for you so you can go back and check those out. But just to recap the team before we get into anything today, we've got the Curum White, we've bulked it out, we've still got the Icinium Z on it, we've given Fusion Flare over the Icy Wind that we weren't using, we've got the Icy Wind elsewhere, we've bulked out the Sogaleo as well, we've changed up the set a little bit, dropped the Knockout, give it Wide Guard and Protect there, we've got the Incineroar in for the Arcanine and it does really give the team a lot more overall support than the Arcanine was, which we saw in yesterday's episode. Got the Tapu Fini now, again, we we'll switch that up for the Tapu Lele, give us the Misty Terrain support against status attacks and things like that. It gives us Icy Wind support, Light Screen support we got on there, and Nature's Madness, which is a really nice option, as well as Haze, just to get rid of any boosting options from the opposing side of the field. Got Nihiligo, it's going to be the more interesting Pokemon here, um, and really I think pairs super nicely with the Kieran White, and hopefully we can test that out a little bit more in today's episode, and the Serena, hopefully we can bring that today, because that gives us that priority protection that this Habulele was and a grass type option against Kyogre that had been given us so many options as we've been seeing over the last week with this team. So without further ado, let's get into it today. Let's crack some music on and um, as always, if you enjoy the content guys, make sure to leave a like on the video. It's just down there. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss any of these daily episodes as well as our guide series and all of our other content that we have VGC related on the channel. We'll kick off with Elite Four music today, why not? And uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. And like magic, someone from South Korea as our first opponent of the day. So let's get straight into Team Pre. And we've been granted our wish. We want to come up against Kyogre to test this team out, and we've got one. So we've got Kyogre, Palkia as restricted pairing. Here we've got Incineroar and Togodomaru, two fake out support Pokemon here, one with Intimidate, one with Lightning Rod. Luckily, we don't have anything on the team with Electric. I don't know if that's lucky or not, but in this situation it is. We don't need to worry too much about that Lightning Rod on the Togodomaru. We've got another Steel type in Ferrothorn that can cause us a lot of issues. We really need to make sure that we are dealing with that well. So my opponent would probably look to carve out a win position with that thing. But with the Fusion Flare now back on the Curum, we've got at least a better option to hit that as well as Cineral and the Sogaleo and then Crobat as well. It's going to be another speed control option for my team with the Tailwind there. You're probably looking at Trick Room on the Palkia, Tailwind on the Crobat. Crobat. Super Fang is going to be a little bit annoying because you're going to probably see that on the Crobat and potentially on that Togodomaru as well. It can just half anything on our team and take us down to a real KO range. So what are we going to do against this sort of build? I think Tapu Fini is really nice here for just general support options, especially with that light screen. So I want to lead off with it. Um, Incineroar is going to be very key, I think, even though there are two big water types on my poles and uh, side of the field um, but the just for that Ferrothorn for the Intimidate support as well against the Incineroar Togodomaru and the Ferrothorn is going to be very nice I'm going to bring Serena and I think I will bring Sogaleo as the last pick here and bench Curum going into this first one today Curum could be nice because it saps up those water type attacks really nicely from things. We can't really hit Kyogre for good damage back though, that's the issue. We can do a lot of damage to the Palkia, but again, it's just neutral uh, if we're hitting it with the Z move. Um, and maybe the other options on the team will kind of give us a bit more support. So we're seeing Crawback Palkia come out for my opponent here. I think the big thing here is if the Crawback denies us the light screen. but. If it wants Tailwind set up, it has to, has to taunt us. So it can't, it can't Tailwind and taunt at the same time. So we're going to get one off, and at least we'll be able to fake out this opposing Palkia, which is quite nice for us going into this first turn. Um, and the light screen is going to be so beneficial for us here. Um, I could snarl as well, which is kind of tempting, but I can't risk this Palkia being able to attack. Because it could just attack straight into the Incineroar with something like Hydro Vortex, take that out of the game straight away. Makes it very difficult for us to come back from because we need it so badly for the Ferrothorn that my opponent probably got in the back. So there's the Super Fang straight out. Not hanging around, just into that Tapu Fini here. But we are able to get this light screen up, which is so, so beneficial for us right now. And um, we can go for a, um, a Nature's Madness of our own this next turn. Um, and I think. Do we want to do that into 
the pal here and just U-turn out onto it. I think it's not a bad option. I could icy wind as well, but at the moment getting damage onto things, and if they do set up a tailwind, it kind of overrides the use of the, the icy wind anyway. So at least getting damage onto stuff, it's a lot more beneficial for us than than not having it. And I'm just going to U-turn out onto that pal here. So there's another super fine this time into the incinerar and there's the Z move like we say it's going to try and set up that end game against the for the Ferrothorn to come in but as long as you've got Sogaleo it's not the end of the world and we have burnt the Z move from my opponent maybe we could have brought Serena in here <sighs> poor incinerar We will get this nature's madness. It does connect, which is good, because otherwise that would have been not so good. And take that pocket down to about 50% health. Now we've got Serena. Um, or Sogaleo. I'm going to bring Serena in, I think. Because we've got Heal Pulse on Finny that we can make use of. And the Power Whip's going to be good for getting the Palkia now. Um, and we can Icy Wind. Power whip, I think. Because Tapu Fini should have the jump after an icy wind onto this park here, as long as we don't see an. Um... Okay, we're going to see Incineroar come in. I'm surprised we haven't seen the Kyogre hit the field yet. But I guess you want to get rid of the things that really cause the, the, the Kyogre a lot of issues, like the Serena. So we'll get an icy wind off. And a power whip into this incinero, which is not going to do very much damage at all. But mm, maybe puts it in range for a superpower. Maybe. Um, I'm going to go for another icy wind, and I'm going to bring in Sogaleo now. And I'm kind of hoping that we don't see a fake out into the Finny, but it's more likely that we'll see the fake out into that slot than anything else. But the Crobat's just chipping us down. It's just more annoying right now than anything else. We're going to see a Tailwind. We do get an icy wind off. Hopefully we don't see a U-turn. That's, that's kind of what I'm expecting from this Incineroar right now. It hasn't faked out. Because of the Serena on the field as well, it doesn't make sense that it would go for that. And just a Flare Blitz. Okay. <clears throat> Not ideal. Proc and our Citrus Berry. And we can Heal Pulse. A Sogaleo. And Super Power. The Incineroar. Hmm. Because of the two icy winds, it overwrite. Okay, here it's coming out. Ugh. All right. I mean, we still get the incineral because it just overrides the speed drops already, and we'll get the heal pulse, which is nice. And hopefully, we still got the light screen intact. There we go. It's run out. It's run out. It's gas is gone. Kyogre, I'd imagine. Come hit the field now. I do have Y God, though. And the Z move has been used. So we could go for another Icy Wind. Or we could just Nature's Madness. I think Nature's Madness into the Kyogre and Y God's not a bad play here. Gives us a little bit of protection against potential water spout that's coming out from the Kyogre and if we can get a nature's madness then it really does hinder its ability to just chuck those out at us. I'm going to see a brave bird now on the crowbat. Hopefully this is not enough to take down Finny. It shouldn't be. Just proc a berry I would imagine. Yeah. And hopefully we see a water spout. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So the white guard really helping us out here. And we do hit, so that's huge for us. 
that is really helping out massively. Okay, now I think we icy wind. I think we could light screen as well. Like light screen is going to be super beneficial for us. If we light screen and sun steel strike this crowbat now. The Kyogre switching out, which is really good for us. Park your hit in the field. Indicating that the Kyogre might be scarfed as well. That's a big indicator. They're switching out if it's locked in there. So I'm going to see the Super Fang into Sogaleo. Now we should be able to remove the Crawbat. Get a light screen up, which is super helpful. Like more so for <clears throat> the Tapu Fini than anything else, really. Oh, that's not actually enough. Wow. Okay. That makes a big difference, I think. And the Tailwind does pitter out. Now it's all about this. Crawbat being able to. I think I need to protect Sogaleo. Icy Wind here. We're going to see a Tailwind for sure from the Crawbat. But we need to try. Yeah, it's difficult now. It is really difficult. It's always going to be difficult anyway, I think, this matchup. But we'll see. So there's the Hydro Pump into Sogaleo. We get the Icy Wind. This should be enough to take down the Crawbat. Crobat's such a good Pokemon as well. You can see it's real utility here. Um, and the park here we do get. I see wind on too. Might be worth this next turn. Hmm. I don't know. Because we could bring in Serena. Hasn't had his berry procked yet. I don't believe. Um, and then I see wind. Because you've got to think that we're going to see... A hydro pump into that Sogaleo slot. Just whether we can preserve Tapufini long enough to make use of these heal pulses. So there's a hydro pump, it's into Tapufini. The support option there. So we're taking that, sapping that up pretty nicely. Scald coming out into Serena. I believe this just pox a berry. Yep, excellent. So it's putting us in better positions going forward. And if that is Scarf Kyogre. We just need to solve out this tailwind now. The Palkia has slowed down so much. The Serena should be able to take a combination of attacks. Um, we could go for one more Icy Wind, to be honest, and just protect Serena this turn. And then that kind of closes the game out for us, I feel, from that point. But the, the thing is, it's not Scarfed Kyogre, because it could be Specs as well, I guess. But it's going after the Palkia. Now, we should be faster than Palkia now with, with Tapu Fini. So we could heal Pulse Serena. The rain does stop, which gives us a lot more benefit. Um, yeah, so heal Pulse Serena and Power Whip Kyogre. Uh, my opponent forfeit. So, whew, that was difficult, but we managed to get through it all right and come out with a win. So that's quite nice for us, showing that we can maneuver ourselves around the board enough to do it. It, it never felt easy though at one point, and that's the thing that we want to be trying to identify going into these matches. Easy win, like e easy ways to set up to put ourselves in beneficial situations where it felt like we're kind of eking out every turn. Everything has to kind of fall right for us in those situations. But Tapu Fini really showing against, especially that build, that it's it's really its place is kind of warranted. Um, we look at the comparison to Tapu Lele there, and it, I don't think it would have done near as enough um, as much work as what the Tapu Fini did there with the light screen, the icy wind, the nature's madness. And the heal pulse as well, all coming in really beneficial for that Pokemon there. So, um, very good for us to to take forward. Um, and we'll go on to this next one. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent. Um, and just like Magic, the go. Not getting the highest rating opponents at the minute, which is a little bit sad. But hopefully, as we go on through the week, we'll get, bump into a few more higher rated players. So, we'll get into team preview here. We're going to see Groudon, Tapakoko, Xerneas, Incineroar. Ferrothorn and Tornadus for my opponent here. So we've got the restricted combination of Groudon Xerneas, very common and popular call that we're going to see in the Moon series, and a very strong one as well. So it'll be a good test for ourselves. We've got two 
restricted on our side of the field that kind of match up well. It's just about managing our board positions well enough to really deal with the threats. Like Sugalea deals with the Xerneas very well, but is threatened by the Groudon. Curum deals with the Groudon very well, but is threatened by the Incineroar. So it's like a double-edged sword, and it's just about who manages things better, I feel. Um, we've got support and cast of Incineroar, Tapacoco, Tornadus, and Ferrothorn, like we've said. The Incineral for us is going to be very important, I think, especially for that Ferrothorn, the Intimidate for the Groudon in particular, and the opposing Incineral. So I do want to bring our own Incineral for sure. Um, we probably want... Like, Nihiligo is actually really good here, outside. Yeah, I'm going to bring Nihiligo. It does really good against the Tornadus, the Incineral, the Tapacoco. It can hit the Groudon for good damage, the Xerneas for good damage. Um, so we could go down that route. I think we definitely need Sogaleo and definitely need Kurum as well. So I think those are the four. We'll bench Finney and Serena for this match and uh, <coughs> get into this one. So good luck to my opponent. Hopefully it's another good game for us today going into this this Kurum build. I feel confident by the end of the week we're going to have a really good build. But it's just getting to that point and doing it in a limited number of matches that we're giving ourselves time to kind of build the team and finish it and polish it by it makes it a bit of a harder task because normally you'd have a lot longer period and you can play a bigger range of matches to kind of test everything with whereas we've only got maximum um, 10 matches to test and polish and finally finish a team with but hopefully we'll get something in place that's good for us to take forward um, but Otherwise, it will let, we can we can tweak it going forward in future streams and things like that. So we've got Tornadoes and Incineroar coming out for my opponent here. You're going to see Timidate cycle first from the opposing Incineroar onto our Incineroar. Um, so it kind of indicates that they're faster than ourselves. Um, we could just burn fake outs here. We're probably going to see um, a Tailwind set up from the opposing Incineroar. And best case scenario, I think, is just just denying them that I don't really want to lose our sash just yet because of how important that sash will be if Groudon comes in and we need to be able to take at least one precipice blades to be able to knock it out I'm going to say fake out into an illegal and we'll just be able to get fake out into the opposing Tornadus so we can like here's the thing here's the thing we can get rid of the Tornadus now if we want to get a beast boost but we will, we will likely see a tailwind set up and we will likely see the groudon come in which could be bad for us but i think what i'm going to do is you turn out on the incineral and i'm going to go for that power gem and set up because if we can get sogaleo in and we got access to Y god it gives nylee a little bit more protection with a beast boost sludge bomb will be taken down the Xerneas. We are just going to see the Groudon hit the field now. Okay. Tailwind from the Tornadus. Which kind of indicates if the Tornadus goes down, we'll probably... Oh, okay. Just going to protect. It's fine. So now this gives us the opportunity to switch into Curum White. Which now is a way for us to protect our Nihiligo, get rid of the Groudon, and get rid of the Tornadus at the same time. So this doesn't work out too bad. We're kind of covering bases by, by making these turns. Turbo Blaze. Such a great ability. What a great name for it. Uh, we'll just pull the trigger straight away onto this Groudon. Because I need to get rid of it. I need to protect the Nihiligo. And I want a Power Gem. Like I said, one of the things we could see here. Which could put us a little bit behind going into the next turn. Is a Protect on Groudon. And then the Tailwind on that Tornadus there. Um, it would set up a situation where the Groudon oh, okay. is in Tailwind with Fake Out support next to it. I'm probably going to see this play out as a Tailwind here from the Tornadus. There we go. I'm going to waste SE move. <laughs> That's not bad though, I mean we get the beast boost, which is pretty big for us here. And we can always go for blind blizzards if we want. I wonder, I've not seen the damage of this into Incineroar, so I'll be interested to see how much this does. Not expecting it to do a lot, but it does surprise me, even on resisted Pokemon, how much this, this Z move does damage wise onto opposing targets. 
So let's see. It is very powerful. We aren't as strong as we previously were. <laughs> I mean, that does some nice damage. That's like nearly half health to an incineral that resists it. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just a ridiculous Z move. Uh, okay, so the ground are now coming in. Um, Tailwind is up. Uh, we could go for a few options here. We could go for a fusion flare. We could just double protect as well. Um, or we could bring in Incineroar. Uh, I think it's probably better to bring in Incineroar, get an Intimidate onto the opposing Groudon. We've got Fake Out then supporting us the next turn. So we can Fake Out the Groudon, Power Gem that Incineroar, get another Beast Boost, and then that Grass Knot will be more than enough to take down the Groudon the following turn. Um, we could potentially lose Incineroar here though. That's the issue. But I'd imagine a fake up from the Incineroar into our Incineroar now. But Nile, you're putting in a lot of work with these support options next to it. And there's a fake out, and then just a press with blades. Now our Incineroar should take this on minus one. But he avoids he avoids the attack, which is excellent. Um now I think we fake out the ground on and we power gem the Incineroar. I don't know if Incineroar. Oh, I don't think we'll outspeed the opposing Incineroar, which is, yeah, it goes snarl. Okay, so getting rid of our Beast Boost, but I mean, we're going to be able to get this back because we should be able to knock out the opposing Incineroar even with that minus one because we already were plus one than I illegal. Yeah, and I imagine the Xerneas is the last Pokemon for my opponent. Beast Boost, okay. Unless he's too scared to bring the Xerneas to this match. We do have, yeah, it's a Ferrothorn. Mm. Alright. Well, I mean, this isn't too bad either. Because how many turns of Tailwind have we got left? One. Um, the Precipice Blades miss from my opponent. Pretty, pretty annoying. Uh, I'm just going to protect Nihiligo here and Flare Blitz. I don't really worry too much about the Flare Blitz and Incineroar going down for that Ferrothorn because we've got Fusion Flare on our Curum in the back that can come in and just obliterate it when we so choose to. So we just need to stall out this Tailwind turn and then we're done and it's all good. But Nile Legal really showcasing its ability to do so well here. See the Precipice Blades again and it's going to hit into the Incineroar this time. This will proc our berry. Gives us like an extra turn really. Wow actually takes us down. Whew, I did not expect that. That is strong. Hmm. Sunlight does fade now. Tailwind pitters out. Um, and let's bring in Curum. Like I said, plus one Grass Knot onto Groudon should be enough to take it down. I do worry slightly if it is. But I mean, Curum's not going down to a Precipice Blades. Either way. Fusion Flare will get the Ferrothorn and Grass Knot should get the Groudon. So we should be able to lock this. Should. He says, there's a Grass Knot. Can we get the Groudon? Easy. Easy. Nihiligo's just a boss. Oh, it's another Beast Boost. We'll probably go down if Ferrothorn somehow survives this Fusion Flare here, but I don't think it is going to be able to. As we see. This should pick up the knockout there. And very good game to my opponent. And a nice win for us today. So this has been a good episode for us today, I feel. Um, we've managed to kind of eke out a win in our first game today. And then quite convincingly eke out a win here. So that's very good for the team. And uh, like I say, we might make changes tomorrow. I'm going to depend on hearing some suggestions from you guys. But I feel like I might want to just take this team for like one extra day. And two more matches to see how it gets on before we change anything. Anything. And then it'll be big hectic changes for Thursday and Friday. But you never know, as we, we might only need to make one or two changes to make this a really good build by the end of the week. But we'll see what happens. Um, keep your comments coming and suggestions coming as always. I do appreciate them so much, guys. But like I said earlier on in the episode, we are running a competition at the moment for flinchclothing.com and it will run till the 1st of March this year so you've got the till the end of February to enter all you need to do to enter to grab all of these lovely bits of merch on your screen right now is head over flinchedclothing.com 
and scroll down, enter our mailing list it is on the home page, so just navigate down that, enter your details, sign up to our mailing list, and you will be automatically entered into a prize draw, which we'll be doing live on the channel on the 2nd of March, and giving away one of you lucky people, or three of these new t-shirts, a nice snapback cap, and a nice water can to keep you hydrated at events and out and about in general. So, good luck with that if you do enter. I look forward to hearing your comments, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye!